usually do not engage in any kind of physical activity day one of my period, but I survived. I almost thought I wasn't, so please leave your cramp recommendations down below. It's been however many years with the period and I suffer insanely and I know it's a journey I need to like get on my whole like gut everything they talk about on TikTok um, journey. But yeah, I love how when I do Pilates, I don't get that sweaty. Like I rotate between my hot workouts, which are the most sweaty I've ever been sweaty in my entire life. And then these ones on days where I have a lot to do because I can't, no one's got time to like wait around for hair to dry and stuff like that. So commence the beard the beard <laughs> commence the busy pms period day let's see how far we get i love the stress of the pop oh my god i almost dropped my water loving the podcast love them and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm wearing today because i'm supposed to be meeting up with some people i've been really liking laying my outfits out on the ground I just feel like it's literally a canvas, it's a clean slate, and so that's kind of what I've been doing for my videos, hence why I feel like I'm happy with my outfits. And now I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna put it out for what I wanna wear today. Bag, estate sale, you guys would've seen that if you haven't seen that video. Skirt, estate sale. Top is Aloha's, I don't love it, but it is what it is, and these boots I've had for forever from free people. You're the cutest person. Never. <laughs> oh, he looked back. I need to take my little. This is the only issue with this stand, this holder. Yeah, I left my tripod in the car. It's, it's so dark on. this way. Is it too dark? It shouldn't be. It's just I never know how to like. Maybe it's there. Stand. See, like now you get right. You're so annoying, probably. No one's around. That's I why know. I love Toronto. There's parts where no one is. Oh, this way's. Nice. Oh, maybe we'll just put it on this table. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. We're uh, okay. Re switch inside. Fit. I know. I want to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait, there we go. Is mine zoomed? Or am I? Just... I have a wide lens. <gasps> oh my god, I need one. It's... Okay. So we just had a very late lunch. Honestly, didn't really know where the day was gonna take us. My brain is chaotic at this point, but having a great time. We were gonna go to a Valley Village to kill some time because Melissa can't drive back home now because there'll be a lot of traffic and honestly, same for me. So we are in the thick of it apparently, beep beep. But I'm at this store called Expo Vintage Outlet, which I have wanted to go to for so long and I wanted to go to the last vintage store for so long too. So it's just a day of discovering, which is really fun. And it's kind of like bins, but all vintage stuff, like actual proper vintage. So kind of curated bins, but I'm excited to go in and see what's going on. Did not wear the right outfit for this, but it's cute. So you know what? Hey, whatever. Melissa should be here soon. So I'm just waiting for her, but they actually close soon. So it's going to be a brief one, but hopefully we find some good stuff. <laughs> Good finds so far. Honestly, these are all for me because I need new pants. So I want to share my thoughts briefly on this location because it's something new in Toronto. Everything is proper vintage. The store is actually owned by Black Market. So it was definitely giving that energy if you guys remember that store on Queen Street. So essentially it's $16.95 a pound, which is more expensive than general thrift by the pounds. But if you find a jacket or pants that is assumed to be a pound or more itself, you get that item for $16.95. So it's really not that bad. So it's like not as overwhelming as a thrift store. Yeah. And like everything's kind of a hit. It's all vintage. It's, like, it's all vintage. It's like no, like you, Forever 21. Yeah, like you're jeans. not gonna go through. And the prices it's are really good. Fair. Very Got fair. Some jeans. My big booty. Big booty. Big bitches. booty. Big hips. All I want for 
my birthday is a big booty hoe. There we go. <laughs> when is your, wait, when is your birthday again? I'm not even finding too much. Um, I found this top though, which is cute. And then this one, which is very fall. I just don't know if it would be super flattering on. This one I swear I saw last time, but it was too expensive. But now that we have the discount, it could be worth it because it's very cute, very 2000s. That's kind of on that similar wave. I don't know if I like this or hate it. I have a couple in my wardrobe. And then I found this dress, which was in the shirt section, which is really cool. I don't know that brand, but I'm assuming it's not fast fashion. And I'm trying to find some shoes for my friend for the wedding, so I gotta send her a pic of that. So it wasn't having great luck right off the bat, but I just found this gorgeous blue crush dress. I hope there's, oh, I see a little bit of ripping down there, but it's so pretty. And you can wear that in full. Also some fun, like already layered tops. This Le Chateau, it's kind of fall because it's black. This one's a little summery, so I might not get it, but it's really cute and structured. And then some more fun stuff. Honestly, nothing too crazy today. I'm kind of glad I didn't come with Melissa because she would have been disappointed. But this did catch my eye. There is a tank top underneath that, so that's pretty. Kind of into this like Neapolitan. I don't know, could be cool. I'm into purple. Men's rugby shirt. A couple sweaters, I don't think this one's vintage, but still cute. A good old gap. pop-up stuff is out of the way it's this saturday tons of your fave thrifters are going to be there so please come because i'm going to be selling most of this stuff the first t-shirt that i grabbed from the bins is this vintage basketball t-shirt so just yeah a lot of stuff like this um just true authentic vintage t-shirts that fit really well feel really good 100 cotton this is the array that i got and the jeans that fit me perfectly there were also change rooms there which is really nice because i feel like a lot of bins locations don't have change rooms I grabbed these two jackets for the pop-up as well. This Columbia one, which is in this really interesting green. Don't know how you would describe it, but it's in great condition and I just love a good classic bomber. And then again, with the leather style, this one fits me perfectly and I kinda don't wanna get rid of it, but I should. So please come and buy it. Now onto the Valley Village stuff. I got this Gap classic sweater. Oh, I'm obsessed with this one as well. Just such a good fall basic. You can wear with literally whatever, dress it up, dress it down. It's super comfy, even though it is wool, I believe. I picked up this rugby top just because I feel like a lot of brands are launching these again for the fall. They're kind of like a reoccurring style and I really like the colors of this one. This is interesting. I don't really know how I feel about it. I felt a little witchy, but I feel like I could make it work. So I think I'm gonna keep it in my wardrobe. This top I'm also obsessed with. I didn't know I'd love it this much until I tried it on with a skirt, which you guys saw in a previous haul. It's Prada and I've been trying it on in every video because I simply love it. So another similar top, this one is Buffalo and a little bit more fall. This dress sadly didn't fit me. It was gonna stay in my collection if it did, but it's tight around the waist, so I'll be bringing it to the sale. And then this little two-piece set is so sweet and dainty. It just goes really well with like brown, I think, for fall. And yeah, that's pretty much how I styled all this stuff for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. And again, I really, really, really hope I'll see you at the sale. We're giving away free Converse. There's gonna be cake, there's gonna be coffee. It's gonna be like a true thrifting YouTube experience. So I hope I'll see you guys there. Love ya!